Okay, so uh, we're going to be solving for the omega of a spring and a torsional pendulum. We'll do the spring first. So, here is your setup. Now this is assuming a frictional surf uh, frictionless surface. Here's your spring with the spring constant K, mass M for the block. This is your equilibrium position. And let's just give it a an amplitude of of a negative a. Okay. So the forces we have acting on this block are just the spring force, which is negative k x is equal to ma. As per usual, we will change the a to the second order derivative of position. Uh, solving for this, we have negative k over m x equals acceleration which by analogy will lead to omega equals square root of k over m. Uh, you can also do a torsional pendulum because it operates on similar principles. Uh, torsional pendulum is essentially let's say you have a disc on a string and everyone's seen this, if you twist the disc, the string will try to unravel and bring it back to a certain position. Uh, that's basically what a torsional pendulum is. We give this string's uh, tendency to unravel a constant, we'll just call it K. And uh, we'll give this disc moment of inertia I and an amplitude of rotation of A and negative A. Now this is approached in largely the same way, except it's a rotational version, so we have to use torque. So we have torque equals moment of inertia times alpha, which is rotational acceleration. K is related to torque, uh, and is proportional to torque in relation to theta. So if, if we do the same thing as before, second order derivative of theta and substituted in for alpha gives us that equation again if we solve it we have negative k over moment of inertia times theta which gives us omega equals square root of k over i and that's it